Oh my goodness. Thank you so very much. I'd like to thank President Fenvis and Senator Hutchinson and the Texas Exes. I am very honored and very humbled to be among these outstanding recipients. And in 2005, when I received the Outstanding Young Texas Exes Award, I did not think it could get any better, and yet it has. This is truly an honor, and I am very thrilled. I came to UT in 1990 as a graduate student in aerospace engineering. Education was very important to my family. I was very fortunate that as a young person growing up in Western Mass, I was never limited. My parents, Barbara and Eugene Wilson, who wanted to be here tonight but were unable to travel, encouraged me along with my teachers. In fact, in junior high and eighth grade, I was given a school assignment in a career awareness class to interview someone who worked in an interesting career field. At the time, I was interested in astronomy, and I interviewed Dr. Jay Pasikoff, an astronomer at Williams College, and I was fascinated by his work. I thought that it would be a wonderful career, a wonderful way to contribute to science. Later in high school, I became interested in engineering. I've always been interested in how devices are assembled, and I thought that aerospace engineering would be a good combination of my interest in space and my interest in engineering. I found my way to UT while working for the former Martin Marietta Astronautics Group in Denver. I joined a, load, a team of loads and dynamics engineers performing coupled loads analysis on the Titan IV launch vehicle. My supervisor was Rich Ruda, and he was very well known in the structural dynamics world for the Benfield Ruda modeling method that we employed at Martin Marietta. When I mentioned to Rich that I wanted to attend graduate school, he, he said that I should uh, investigate UT because of the strong aerospace engineering department, and also because his colleague, another structural dynamics icon in his own right, Dr. Roy Craig, well known for the Craig Bampton modeling method, was a professor at UT. I initially spoke to Dr. Hull in the aerospace engineering department. He assured me that they had room, office for graduate students, funding, and a teaching position that would allow me to receive in-state tuition. My decision was made. My graduate school of choice would be UT. I packed up my worldly possessions. My parents flew from Massachusetts to Denver to meet me, and we set off driving from Denver to Austin. Now, I must tell you, that was a long, hot drive. <laughs> Nevertheless, in two days, we arrived in Austin and then began my UT experience. I began my research with Dr. Roy Craig, who is here tonight with his wife, Dr. Jane Craig, and I learned what it is like to work with a world-renowned, dedicated, motivating professor who had a vested interest in his student's success. He was a wonderful mentor. He, along with Dr. Robert Bishop, became my graduate research advisors. We applied for a NASA Graduate Student Researchers Program Fellowship, and our research was underway. I remember the professors in the aerospace engineering department all being very interested in their students' success. When I would grade homework assignments for the statics and dynamics class that I TA'd, I recalled dedicated professors like Dr. Craig, Dr. Hull, Dr. Bishop, and Dr. Fowler coming in to check on my progress while grading these assignments, on the weekends, taking time away from their own lives and their own families to ensure the lives of future engineers were secure. As my time at UT came to an end, the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory came to campus to interview students for jobs, and the lab was a great fit for me. I was excited to be working on a robotic spacecraft, and while I started working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, I learned there were many other UT graduates there, so I was in good company. By then, I'd wanted to focus my work in human spaceflight, but working at one of the leading labs in robotic spaceflight was the next best thing. I learned many skills that I needed for my work at NASA Johnson Space Center, and I applied to the astronaut program. I was in, I invited to interview and was selected and joined 43 other astronaut candidates, one of whom you saw tonight on the video, Scott Kelly, and he's currently on board the International Space Station participating in a one-year mission. Because of the education I have received, I have had wonderful opportunities, and I have been very fortunate. I have UT to thank for helping to prepare me for work as an engineer, first on rockets and then on robotic spacecraft, and for helping me to ultimately fulfill my dream of flying in space. It has been a wonderful blessing to fly aboard Space Shuttle Discovery three times in 2006, 2007, and 2010 as part of flights to assemble our orbiting laboratory, the International Space Station. 
I have to tell you that the view from space is spectacular. The colors are so vivid. The deserts are deep red, and the oceans are a deep blue green. The transitions from day to night are fabulous. The sun rises over the Earth and gradually lights the space station from a pale yellow to gold to a bright white. Each sunset brilliantly displays the colors of the rainbow, from crimson to burnt orange to white to blue. The atmosphere that surrounds Earth is very thin, which means that our Earth is very fragile, and we must do all that we can to preserve it for future generations. From that vantage point, the Earth is very serene and peaceful. I have many friends who have graduated from UT, and some are here tonight, like Karen Lawrence, whom you also saw in the video, and we share the same hope for a peaceful legacy for future generations. Thank you to the University of Texas for providing students with cutting-edge programs, preparing them for a global workforce, and for enabling a way for them to fulfill their dreams and establish a legacy. I hope that people remember that as a child, I had a big dream. I chose something that I loved for a career, and with the help of my parents, my teachers, my professors, and the support of my family and friends, I was able to achieve my dreams. I also hope that they see that I tried to reach my goal with dignity, grace, and style, while attempting to uplift others along the way and attempting to make the path easier for those to follow and for those who come. Thank you.